Hi guys, it's Nena once again, Foxy Mama 365. Back again with the Married to Medicine reunion part one. A little late, but you know what they say? Better late than never. So we're gonna start with the fashion. So the fashion. Let's see. I kinda love Dr. Jackie's outfit. I totally loved it. And her makeup did her justice with her hair, the uh, short cut hair. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Um, Dr. Heavenly, I was not too, I was like, nah. It seemed like a regular dress. She was beautiful, her makeup was gorgeous as well. But I just like, nah, it didn't work for me. It just seemed like a dress you would throw on when you're going out with your friends. So I, I think we're kind of spoiled, we're kind of spoiled. So we want more, we expect more from the fashions. Just me. Dr. Simone, I felt the same way too. She looked beautiful facially, but I'm not going to remember her dress. I'm not going to remember anything about what she had on. Um, Toya looked great. Her dress, I loved. But what I didn't like about Toya's outfit, uh, Toya's look was her hair. I thought it was too sharp on her face. So it kind of took away from her beauty. Toya is a beautiful, beautiful lady. I thought the hair was kind of too, too pulling her hair back all that way. It was kind of too sharp. So maybe something softer might have helped. Uh, Dr. Contessa looked beautiful. Her, her breasts are coming up and they're like, yes, she's ready to show them off. She looked really nice. I thought the red did her justice with her color. Her, she was glowing. Um, who else? Miss mm. Quad. Miss Quad did it. She knocked it out of the ballpark. I thought Miss Quad came to slay. Her bl the blue was flawless against her skin. Her makeup was the bomb. I totally loved it. Mariah, I, it was. She looked nice. She was. She's a beautiful woman. Beautiful. You can't take that away from Mariah. But I just thought. I'm not gonna even remember what she wore. Maybe if she had some more jewelry, I, I, I don't know. But I just thought the purple velvet didn't, it didn't work for me. But she looked beautiful though, her makeup was excellent. Now we go on to talking about what really is important, the meat. Let's get to the meat on the bone, okay? So we're talking about Dr. Simone and, and Cecil and how being uh, on the show has actually helped the marriage. And I think for the first time, Andy is saying, oh wow, uh, my, the show has saved the marriage. Because usually we, we see a lot of marriages break, you know, fall apart over the show. Because it's like a lot of exposure. It's a lot of people getting into your business. It's a lot of sharing, you know. So and then for the first time, we see Cecil and Dr. Simone coming together and the reunion, the last reunion, literally saved their marriage. And that was kind of cool. And Andy was kind of happy as well. Even though Dr. Simone says that she is still in the in the north house she's still working on communication she's gonna miss it if she leaves there we totally get that i totally get not having to cook every day not having to worry having your own space not having to think about what you want to eat you can just grab a bite and come home and jump into bed i get that you know but like they say marriage is about you know someone giving and someone taking and something somewhere you give and you take now explain it to me what is going on between Dr. Simone and Dr. Contessa. Anybody? Anybody? I just don't get it. And Dr. Simone saying Dr. Contessa is a liar and a fraud. I, why are they fighting again? Dr. Contessa had to leave for a little while to do her double mastectomy and heal yeah everybody's not dr jackie dr jackie came back after her, her her surgery and she's that kind of person that is like she wanted to go 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 and everybody is different and it's okay to be different i just didn't understand why dr simone was so upset and i felt it was actually toya's battle to fight i think she was riding for toya and i think toya has a mouth of her own let Toya speak, you know, it just didn't make any sense. And kudos to Dr. Contessa for sharing all of that, going through that process of the double mastectomy. Thank you for sharing that and, you know, kudos to you. 
And then Dr. Simone goes on about not drinking and all and not drinking around the ladies, but I don't really believe that. Okay? Then the kids, we see the kids growing and they're, you know, all getting older and it's just beautiful to see them grow. Dr. Contessa saying uh and saving Layla, her kid, from choking. And wow, people are giving her kudos for, you know, her mom, Dr. Instinct, Mabel being a, a Navy veteran instinct kicking in. And thank God, we don't we always pray not to experience it, but, you know, we need to be ready, heaven forbid, it ever happens. So, yeah, kudos to her. And then, this really got me. We will talk about teen pregnancies, but now we're talking about kid pregnancies. Dr. Jackie said the youngest she's dealt with, youngest, is 10 years old. That means she's dealt with younger. Wow. 10 years old and the dad was 13. What is going on in the world? What is going on in the world? People, what is going on? What age do you guys think is appropriate to talk to our kids about the birds and the bees? It, I was kind of heartbroken and I just hope it's a one-off thing. But you kind of look back and you're like, ah, it's becoming... I mean, we talk about teenage pregnancies and now we're talking about young kids getting pregnant. We have to do better. We, I don't know. I want to hear what you all think. Please let me know in the comments. And then they now go on to talk about doctors being the worst patients. I totally get that because my mom was a doctor and she also would, would not, she wouldn't, I know she had an allergy to it, but she would, you know, do, do her best not to take, not to be in the hospital, not to get sick. And, and it was like, oh, you have to get, you know, take your drugs. And she'd be like, oh, so I totally get that. And yeah, doctors are probably the worst. And then we go into the therapy for Dr. Simone. I'm not even going to go delve into that because I think it's so deep. And I think it's just a lot of, it's really dark. It's a dark place, but I'm happy she's getting the therapy. And pretty much therapy is good. And it's taking her back to her childhood and being able to deal with, you know, I hope she gets to, you know, sit down with her sister at some point before the show runs out, when she can still, you know, do. We would lo I would love to see her walk and see her sister and walk with her sister and try and build a relationship before it's too late because then she can try and heal and they can heal together. And then we go on to his Mariah Elia. Hmm. <sighs> I haven't really watched all the seasons of Married to Medicine. I watched this one, but I'm like, uh, I, I'm guessing that some stuff might have happened. Please be, feel free to fill me in on if maybe prior, previously Mariah had told some lies and maybe that's why they think she's lying. Because initially when she said that her mom slept with dad, her mom, no, excuse me, that her mom was hit on by daddy, I think we all assumed it was she was talking about Dr. Heavenly's dad hit on on Miss Lucy, only to find out that she's talking about uh, Dr. Damon himself. And we're like, huh? Wait, well, what is going on? And then we hear Mariah saying, well, if Damon is hitting on Miss Lucy, then I don't have a chance in the world. I thought that was hilarious. I don't know. And then we now also look back into the histories and we see that for black people in America, the black parents were extremely, extremely rigid with the kids. We never used to say, I love you, and you know. And I totally understand that. Because um, I think saying I love you seemed like a, a show, I don't know, I think we kind of hide our emotions. And even though most of the time we knew that our parents were loved, but it was just never said. Maybe we can probably, I don't know, maybe, and so that's probably where Dr. Heavenly, you know, has never learned that communication, soft skills, and being locked up, I'm not going to, it's, it's too dark, it's too deep, I, I can't go in there, it's just a lot, you know. 
but we can do a lot better by saying I love you. It takes nothing out of us. The kids hear it and they feel a sense of, um, yeah, the fact that, oh, really, my parents love me and it does wonders in their lives. So then Dr. Heavenly, we see her deflecting, deflecting and deflecting. And she's got to really stop, learn to take ownership of when she's wrong or when she's done something. I know it will come with time. Hopefully she gets better at it. And then, are there receipts? We want receipts. Mariah, we're done with all the yap, yap, yap. Show them those receipts. We also see Dr. her husband, Dr. Adrian, saying, yeah, he's got the receipts. He's got the folder right here. He's got the receipts. When we are going to see the receipts, then we will know really you have those receipts. Till then, shut the fuck up. Well, hopefully we'll see them, if there are receipts, we'll get to see them in, in the next, uh, in the next uh, reunion part. And then we now go on to uh, Quad being accused of sleeping with Lake's husband. Say what now? Huh? I'm wondering, why would Quad bring it up now? I know, apparently, it seems Mariah has been allegedly putting, feeding stuff out on the blog. And this was apparently meant to have happened before she got with Dr. Greg. And now she wants to address this issue because Mariah is bringing it up. But I'm saying, I'm wondering... Let sleeping dogs lie. It it's not even worth it. Just let it go. It's I mean, let Mariah talk. That's it. I mean, like a lot of us that don't read that blog might not even have known, but now you've brought it to the forefront. So now we know. Which uh, I I don't know. I don't know. It's just a lot. Then of course you see also. Andy trying to understand why you're bringing it up. What does she have to gain? What does Mariah have to gain? And Quad is saying, oh, Mariah would go, you know, would destroy anyone, you know, to get, would take down even her sister to just to get at her. And I'm like, is it really that deep? Uh, and then you're just wondering, what happened to all the forgiveness? Oh, I forgive you. Oh, let's move forward with her, with, with Mariah, with Dr. Heavenly, and then they come back. I think when they go back, they go back onto the blogs and start talking again, and then it, everything comes right back up again. So they say, I love you, I forgive you, let's move forward. And then someone goes back to the blogs and starts talking again, and it comes right back up again. So I think that's what's going on. And then the big bombshell is, ugh, cocaine snotting ass. Ooh. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. In the words of Phaedra, fix it, Jesus. Just fix it. Thanks, guys, for listening. My name is Nana, Foxy Mama 365 Be sure to rate, like, share, and subscribe. See you guys soon for the next one, the Married to, Uni to Medicine Reunion 2. Peace out. Want to see this?